Astro Lost in Space is exactly what you'd imagine would happen if you placed a group of teenagers in a spaceship, shipped them off to, for lack of a better term, space camp, which happens to be a paradise of sorts on a different planet. Is what I would say if there wasn't Black Hole Chan on this planet that sends them literally to another world, which makes this show an isekai. Astra Lost in Space is an isekai confirmed! No, but in all seriousness, it makes this show go from being mindless fun to something worth taking more seriously. With the first episode of the show being 47 minutes long, it can definitely seem overwhelming from a distance. Especially since the first half of that episode would lead you to believe that our protagonists probably shouldn't have been sent to space, let alone allowed to leave their homes for like any reason. I mean, like I wouldn't even allow these guys to go down the street for groceries. Hmm, forget about provocative. I'm sexy. I mean, just look at me. This anime is what I'd classify as a dramedy. And as I mentioned before, it has moments that are absolutely serious. For instance, the lives of our protagonists being at stake as they have to survive every new planet that they come to discover, while they also try to find their way back home, while also avoiding a heat-seeking black hole that doesn't want to leave them alone. Leave them alone, black hole, Chan! Yeah, it's serious. The anime is based on a manga of the same name by Kenta Shinohara, and it's actually a sci-fi adventure space shonen. Just think of it as an anime version of Star Trek, if you're even old enough to know what Star Trek is. Look, I don't have any other reference for you, okay? However, instead of our characters wanting to explore the endless possibilities of space, they just really want to get back home. With only 12 episodes, this show covers quite a bit in a short amount of time, and I don't want to give away too much of the story. So instead of focusing on summarizing the plot, which I normally do in this section of the video, I'm going to focus instead on telling you a bit about some of the characters that I really, really like, and you can use that as a metric of if you want to watch the show or not. Spoiler alert! You should, like, really watch this show. Anyhow, starting with the leader of our gang of superstar teenagers, and I say superstar because literally all of them have amazing abilities that would make you think that they were raised in a lab or something. Except for this one. No one knows why she's even here. Why are you here? And at the time of this recording, the show has two more episodes until its completion, but I doubt anything will convince me that she's important. Hold up! I watched episode 11, turns out she is important. Look, this script's already done, I'm not gonna change it, so you're just gonna have to deal with that, okay? However, much like in the show, it's ironic that I even talk about her because she rarely does anything to advance the plot. She's also shrouded in a mystery, and she's the first freaking character you see when the show starts, leading you to believe that she's the protagonist, but thank goodness she's not, because the protagonist of the show happens to be all the characters characters on the Astra. I mean, if she was the protagonist, it'd be like having Sakura as the protagonist of Naruto, and no one in their right mind wants that. Also, not to skim over it, Astra is the name of the ship, by the way, but we're gonna get back to that in a moment. My boy, Kanata, has one of the biggest smiles out of any member on this team, but lives with the heaviest heart. After losing his childhood mentor to an accident, he vowed to make it his life's goal to save any and everyone. He's literally the epitome of Captain save -a So in a desperate situation like they're all currently in, Kanata won't stand to lose anyone on the crew and will go as far as risking his own life to ensure their safety. If that resolve doesn't screw shonen protagonist to you? I don't know what does. The next super cool member of the Astra crew that I'd love to talk to you about is Luca. But if I told you anything about him, that would ruin the whole show. So instead, let's talk about Kitari. First of all, just based on her name alone, I would have wanted to make sure that she got lost in space too. I really do sympathize with Black Hole Chan on this one, guys. I genuinely do. It's okay, Black Hole Chan. Someday you'll get him. Someday you'll be able to start your own isekai. But aside from the fact that Kitari has a god awful name, she also has tan skin. And if you haven't been made aware, Anime girls with tan skin are infinitely more attractive than all other waifu. Therefore, she is waifu material. Thanks for coming to my TED talk. More importantly though, she doesn't do white people. So let me explain because I know a lot of you are probably like, I'm white, Evan, whatever do you mean by this? This is, this is my white person voice, by the way. I'm sorry if you're white. Uh, I, I don't mean this to be in, uh, offensive in any way. And before any of you try to type in the comments that these characters are Japanese or something, no, they're not. Because the world was united and everyone speaks English now. This is the future, damn it. You think with faster than light travel, language barriers still exist? Anyway, this girl is always complaining about literally everything on this trip because that's honestly the right reaction to have. While everyone else is treating this like some sort of vacation, she understands the real danger, thus complains about it, keeps her guard up, and doesn't blindly trust the unknown. Like I said, she doesn't do white people. Now let me know in the comments below my weeb talk, if you went to various different planets in space, would you do A, white people, or B, not trust the unknown planets and want to get the heck back home? I'm curious to know what you guys think, and like I said earlier, I wish I could tell you guys a little bit more about the characters or about the plot, but because this show is a bit of a murder mystery slash sci-fi, it would kind of ruin things, and it's an engaging enough narrative that I think more people need to engage with. Now going back to the name of the ship and the title of this video, Overcoming Hardships to Reach Your Goals. Look, I know the thumbnail says white people ship, but that, that was get you guys to click on it, okay? I'm sorry. That's what the plaque in the interior of the ship says, and that's the grim reality our characters are faced with in every episode. Even with the odds stacked completely against them, they work hard to try and stay alive. And finally, internet, why should you waste your precious time and watch this anime? Well, if you like space and Star Trek, 
then this anime is for you. And if that's not enticing enough, if you've ever played the board game Clue and you agree with me that this girl just can't be trusted, then this show is definitely up your alley. Hey there, lovely people of the internet. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys really enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like button or comment down below to let me know because I would really enjoy if you did that. I know this one is a little bit different for those of you who are new to my channel. For those of you that have been here since the beginning, this is a return to form. So I hope you guys really enjoy me going back to my usual style of content. I really want to go ahead and try to make more videos like this again. I really did enjoy doing this one and I really hope that you guys enjoyed it as well. As you can probably see, I still do live in my mom's basement, but it has become a little bit easier thanks to you beautiful people over on Patreon. So thank you guys so much for helping support me, helping support the channel. And uh, the channel has been demonetized again. So you guys have actually helped a ton. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much for that. And if you wanted to go ahead and help the channel like the lovely people that you'll see at the end card of this video, you can do so by clicking the link right down below or by just sharing the video, telling all your friends about it. That really does help more than you think. But once again, guys, thank you so, so much for watching the video. And join my Discord. Link for that is most likely in the pinned comment down below. Also, follow me on Twitter, all that jazz. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. I love you guys. Peace.